Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship, and today we're going to talk about compression for your volunteers. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So honestly, compression is amazing. Apart from basic volume leveling and EQ, it is one of the most important things for getting a solid mix that is full but in control. Uh, but there's a lot of misconceptions about how compression works. It can get more complicated the further you get into it. But today we're going to talk about the three most basic controls of compression and just getting some basic volume regulation going on for your channels. So one way I like to explain this to volunteers is to try to make it as visual as possible. Uh, and the way I like to explain this, it's really silly, but stick with me here, is imagine that we have three friends and they are getting a picture taken together at the office that they work at. You've got one guy who's just average height. You've got one guy who is basically a giant. He's very tall. And you've got one guy who is a little person. He is very, very short. And the photographer is trying to fit the these three guys into the frame, but it's only so far that the photographer can back up, you know, to try and get the frame wide enough to get them all in there. And they're all standing up straight. And there's just a huge difference between the heights of these three guys. So as the photographer is working, there are three knobs on the side wall that can be used to change the room around. So uh, let's talk about what those are and how you can use those. So the first knob available to the photographer is the threshold. You can see on here we have a threshold in this software. This is the Behringer XR18 editing software, which is what my microphone is going through right now. The threshold, another term we can use for that is the ceiling. So the three guys are standing upright. Obviously, the tall giant guy is the highest in the frame. Well, as the photographer is working, they lower down the ceiling and it starts to make him kind of crouch down closer to the height of the other two guys. So that's your threshold. That's your ceiling. That's the point at which compression is going to start to work. Now, I mentioned earlier that they're in an office photo. The reason why I said that is because imagine that above their heads is a tile ceiling, and that tile is not very heavy. There is some give to it. So even though it's coming down and pushing the tall guy down, his head still pops up into the ceiling a little bit. So our next magic control we're going to talk about is ratio. Another word for ratio that you could use would be weight. So imagine that you have the ability to magically make that tile heavier or lighter so it can push him down or give more give to him to be above the ceiling. So ratio is usually described as a number, a colon, and then a one. So you would say in this case, this is a three three to one ratio on this compressor. So simply what that means is that for the height that he would be above the ceiling, it's going to be divided by three. So if we drop the ceiling down a full foot, 12 inches below the top of his head, a three to one ratio, a tile ceiling is going to mean that 12 divided by three is four. So he's going to be four inches above the ceiling instead of 12 inches higher than he was before. If we change that ratio to a higher number, a higher weight, like if we changed it to, say, oops, 10 to 1, that is a much, much heavier tile, then we are saying, okay, well, he was 12 inches above the ceiling, and we're going to divide that by 10. So now he's only 1.2 inches above the ceiling. And you can go higher than that. Some compressors have different ranges. This one goes to 20 and then to 100. Some go as high as infinity. So what that would mean is that this ceiling tile is now so heavy, it's a hundred uh, <laughs> to one instead of three to one. So he would have to be a hundred inches above the ceiling for that tile to let him up even just one inch above the ceiling. So it's basically like having a brick ceiling. It's a brick wall limiter. It won't let him go much, if any, higher than the ceiling that's really going to clamp down on him. So you've got your threshold, which is your ceiling. So that's how high or low the ceiling is. And then the ratio is how heavy that ceiling is. Next, you have our final control here. I'm going to drop this back down to three to one, which is your gain or more 
exact would be makeup gain. So our tall guy was up here, and here's our short guy down here. The ceiling drops down and pushes him closer to the height of the guy in the middle. We can then take the gain, this doesn't quite fit with our analogy anymore, but stick with me here, and raise the entire building, both the ceiling and the floor, and raise those up. So now the tall guy is kind of back where he started at, um, but the short guy and the middle guy are a lot higher than where they started at. So the whole point of compression is to take a very wide range of our soft stuff and our high stuff and to squish it down into a more controllable level that is going to sound fuller. And then in this case, we're going to see all three of our guys in the one picture frame a little bit better. Okay, so let's now do some audio demonstrations to show you what this means for you and your sound. First of all, uh, what's happening right now, I want you guys to get the most true representation of what's happening um, to go along with the visuals. Anytime you hear one of my videos on YouTube or most videos on YouTube, there is also compression and limiting happening in the background. Um, so for this to really not be also affected by that, I'm going to lower the volume of my voice for the rest of this demonstration. So you might just need to turn your phone or whatever you're listening to this on up like two clicks um, just to get the full effect of what's happening. All right, so let's check it out. All right, so we are currently looking at the editing software for the Behringer XR18, which is what this microphone is currently plugged into. Um, I have made some default settings here. Our threshold, our ceiling is all the way up, so it's not pushing down the tall guy at all. Um, we then have our ratio. We're going to start with a ratio of 3 to 1, uh, and then our makeup gain is all the way down. So we are hearing pretty much the raw audio of my microphone right now. Um, so when you're going to set this for anything, it could be a singer, a musician, or a speaking microphone. Right now I'm speaking, so we'll look at it from the speaking perspective. What you want to do is you want to start by adjusting your threshold when they are doing basically their normal volume. So like right now, I'm projecting, but I'm not screaming. I can get a lot louder if I was more animated. I could also kind of dip down in volume when I kind of run out of breath or something like that. Um, so this is kind of my normal. So your pastor just talking normally, here's where you'd be at. So what you're going to do is you're going to lower down this threshold while watching this GR meter. And then, of course, listening as well, but... Uh, the gain reduction is going to be your first visual element. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this down until I start getting very little but consistent compression on here. So between like 1 dB to maybe like 3 dB at most, um, just so it's kind of like always just tickling the, the tone just a little bit here. Um, so I'm going to keep talking. We're going to lower this down, and we're watching for this gain reduction meter to go here. One, two, one, two. Check, check, check. Hey, 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 hey. One, two. Okay, and there it is. You can see it's starting to kick in. And also, too, with uh, digital mixers, it's real easy to trick yourself. So um, during rehearsal, not during service, the other thing you can do is you can crank the threshold all the way down just to make sure that your obvious settings are working and then smooth it out from there. So here it is with crazy compression. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you could hear you basically lost me for a moment there um, because I was way over compressing it. So we know that it's on. Make sure your compressor's on. It's very easy to trick yourself. So right now, as I talk normally, you see I'm kind of hitting some words a little bit harder. You're starting to get some compression on here. I'm going to now talk a lot louder so you can hear how much the compressor is having an effect. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Now, to demonstrate this again, I'm going to hold a note, and I'm going to be pressing this. This is basically the on and off button for this compressor, and you'll hear just how much at this threshold setting at a three to one ratio, how much of an effect this is having on my voice. Uh, hey, a lot, okay? So obviously you can kind of play with this and, and you know find where it's gonna be suitable for you depending on how loud your pastor or your singer actually is. Um, but three to one is a good starting ratio. It's noticeable, but it's not fully slamming. Um, I'll crank it up a little more so you can hear that. Hey. So you can hear it's starting to bring down that level a little bit more. I'm going to now take it to a lower ratio. The closer I get to one, the more we're going to get back to that original signal. Uh, hey! 
So you can hear the ratio is going to have the biggest effect on there when the threshold's down where it is. Okay, so right now, if I get more excited, you can see I'm getting about around 6 dB of compression. My general rule, especially for live sound, is 3 to 6 dB is a great starting point. If you're doing a lot more than that, I'll demonstrate in a moment why not. Um, you don't want to do that. So <laughs> 3 to 6 is a good safe bet. So when you go to do your makeup gain, how much are you going to use your makeup gain? Same amount, 3 to 6 dB. Now, I would always start on the lower side of that unless you need more. Um, but again, for the purpose of this video, to make things obvious, I'm going to add in three, uh, sorry, 6 dB of gain um, makeup gain on here. So you're going to hear me get louder. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two, one, two. And there you go. That's 6 dB of makeup gain. So it should be substantially louder for you now because I basically doubled my volume. So here's the important part about what makeup gain is doing here. As I'm talking fairly softly, I'm getting very, very little compression. I'm basically doubling the volume of me at a low volume. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold a note, but below the point of the threshold. I'm going to turn this compressor on and off and listen to the volume change. You can see we're getting a lot more volume when I talk soft. But when I talk loud, check one, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. You can see that compressor is kicking in. So again, I'm going to, with the same settings we have right now, I'm going to turn that compressor on and off. Hey. You can hear it's compressing, but it's not quite as much. So here's what happened. We had, again, our me talking real soft, me talking real loud. We used the compressor to make sure I can't really get that much louder than the ceiling. And then we raised both of those up. So my level when I get really loud is, again, close to where I started at. But my volume at the bottom is so much louder. And so my range went from being a really big range like this, which could be startling for the little old ladies in the front row, to something more controlled like this. It's going to sound thicker and fuller online, in the room, in people's in-ears, that kind of thing. But we gave ourselves a lot more to work with. Now, one last thing I want to go over for the rest of this video is the dangers of compression. Because you can, yes, over-compress your information. Um, so again, going back to our visual of the three friends, um, one thing that's interesting about three friends of completely different heights is that you've got, you know, a variance. You know, you've got a diversity in the friendship, which is kind of cool. Um, you don't normally see three guys with completely different heights like that. That's what makes them interesting. So if you compress them like crazy and make them all the same height, well, I mean, they're still cool, but they're not that interesting anymore, if that makes sense. Um, what is special about them has been taken away. So if you over compress, if everything is always the same volume and it doesn't go up and it doesn't go down, it's always the same volume, it becomes annoying after a while. So you don't want to compress so much that you suck the life out of the instrument or the vocal. Uh, you just want to do enough to control it and make it a little bit thicker. The other thing that's important about not over compressing is the nature of bringing in what we call noise floor. So again, back to our visual, um, we have you know our three guys and they're spread out. And when we're all said and done, I'm getting a good picture of their faces. I never wanted to see the floor. I didn't want to see how dirty it is, how gross their shoes are or whatever like that. So if you compress like crazy and you bring them down so much that they're basically laying on the floor and then you raise that whole thing up again with that makeup gain, you now have the floor, which was hidden before, is about the same height or very close to where their faces are that we're trying to get into the picture. So in an audio perspective, Noise is anything that you don't want to be prevalent in your audio signal. Um, so in this room right now, you might be able to hear there is a ceiling fan right above me that is kind of loud. Um, and right now it's there, but it's not as loud as my voice because I'm right on this microphone and I'm not crazy compressing the microphone right now. But if I were to overcompress it, if I were to squash down a whole lot and then raise up a whole lot, then the sound of that ceiling fan is going to be a lot closer to the volume of what you're hearing right now. 
And what that will result in is in more noise floor. If I was in a live sound system, you'd probably have more chance for feedback. Things like cymbals from the drum overheads are going to become a lot more evident. So let me demonstrate that real quick. Um, so what I'm going to do on here is I'm going to uh, give this a higher ratio. I'm going to drop the threshold down to where we're getting a lot of compression and then I'm going to add that makeup gain and you're going to hear what it sounds like. All right, here we go. So we're going to give this a higher ratio. Hey. Okay. So <laughs> you're probably hearing the sound pumping up and down. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. And then between when I talk, you can hear my breath really loud. <sighs> <laughs> That's because when the compression comes up, it is now gaining up 21 dB, uh, 15 dB more than what we had before. And now listen to the ceiling fan when I stop talking. And then when I talk, it goes away because now it's compressing like crazy again. So this is what we would call over compression. So there you have it. That is the basics of compression for you. Again, you've got threshold, which is your ceiling ratio, which is how heavy that ceiling is. And then you've got makeup gain to boost the whole thing up afterwards. I hope that was helpful to someone out there. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the YouTube comment section below. And until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.